so unto Pharaoh, I shall send you. Me? Who am I to lead these people? They'll never believe me. They won't even listen. I shall teach you what to say. Shalom. This is Tazadak from the GMS Los Angeles County coming back in the truth and the spirit of Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweshai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Pay double honors to the pastor and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation for the whole Philek Akiam that's pushing his word, truth, and sincerity. So the first scripture will be Jeremiah, the first chapter, verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So, Kaala Yahabashim Yashai, just want to get on a topic that the Lord knew us when we in the womb, in our mother's womb, <laughs> and he knew about us, man, even in the seed of our father, you know? But he knew and he sanctified us and he ordained us to be a prophet. So we were meant from from when we was in that womb, we was meant to do this work. And, and I hope your brothers realize what you've been called for. Okay? You are more than what you think you really are. All right? A lot of people make, make fun of us. A lot of people not, may not believe us, but we don't care. Okay? We out here. Because the Lord ordained us to be a prophet. So when you go to the word prophet, it, it simply means to say something before it happens. Okay? That's what a prophet is, to say something, to say things before it happens. And that's what we've been doing week in and week out, rising early in the morning, doing our videos. This is what we do. This is why we stand out from the rest of the mere mortals that's out here on this earth. Okay? Why? Because... I tell you this, you know, personally, and, 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 all, and all the brothers know, we fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh We fear the Lord, and we are afraid to do what's wrong. That's the difference between us and them. The them are the two thirds of our people, so called Negro Latino Native Americans. They don't know what's right and from wrong. But guess what? We do. Even though we make mistakes and everything, but we are well aware of the mistakes we made. So we you know beg for forgiveness and you know and have our sins forgiven and and show us mercy because we know we're not perfect that's the difference between us and them but it is our job and commanded by the lord to be a prophet amongst the nations man all right so there goes your there goes your, um you can't use no excuse that you don't have to be out there in the streets you don't have to be out there to teach the people we were commanded to do a specific job okay we are watchmen we on the watch tower what to compel our people and to warn our people okay so <laughs> let's get with the scriptures man all right because there's a specific commandment that the lord yahweh shah which you only call jesus christ um told peter all right so let's get it out this is luke all right, and this proof right there that we need to be out there feeding our people with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and warn them. Okay, doesn't matter if their feelings are hurt, doesn't matter if they don't like it. Okay, so let's get it. So, this is John, the 21st chapter, verse 15. All right, and it reads, Now, listen carefully. And it reads, So, when they had dined, Yahweh Shai said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? Right? That's a question. He said unto him, yeah, yeah, Lord. He said, yeah, of course, man. You know, anything for you, bro. You know, I'm just trying to make it like, like you know, for people to understand. He said, yes. Like, yes, I love you, man. Right? So let's continue. Read it. Um, yeah, Lord, thou knows that I love thee. He said unto him, feed my lambs. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, love, lovest thou me? So Yahweh shall ask Peter a second time, do you love me? All right. And, um, and, and we continue to read it. He said unto him, ye Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. 
he said unto him, Feed my sheep. And he said unto him a third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time. So Peter got like, oh, come on, man. I just answered you twice, <laughs> you know. But Yahweh was serious to him, you know, to make him, get, to, to really know for him to get it, man. All right. And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh said unto him, feed my sheep. That's proof right there that what we have to do because the Lord ordained us to be a prophet. He knew us from the belly. He knew that we had to be doing this type of work. In order to be a prophet, you had to be out there warning our people to say things before it happens, like Jacob's trouble, World War III, nuclear missiles, the MOTB. So it's our job to be out there feeding the people, man, and warning the other nations too, you know? But we have to feed our people with knowledge wisdom understanding and the prophecies and warning okay so let's get the next scripture all right it's proof right here this is um second Ezra, the 15th chapter i'm gonna start our verse one all right this is on the, the apocrypha so second Ezra, the 15th chapter starting from the top behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. See, the Lord will teach us through the spirit what to say and how to say it and when is the time to say it. Okay, we don't control anything. The Lord controls everything. Okay, all right. We didn't know we was going to be prophets and priests and king teachers. We didn't know that. It shows to tell you right there that we don't have full control of our lives here, man. Okay. <laughs> And, it, and it, you know, to this day, it still boggles me and stuff. But I'm well aware, as so do other brothers, well aware of what we need to do. Okay, it's not, it's not to get, it's not to get into the emotions and stuff. Just do the job, okay, with sincerity. All right. So Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper. So the prophecies is written in the Bible. That's why I said it could cause them to be written in paper. For they are faithful and true. So, so the brothers that's going out there week in and week out and doing their videos, all the prophecies they breaking down is all coming to life. If you can't see it, then you're in trouble. But the ones who can't see it, hey, that's great. You know what to do. Okay, you know what's the next step. Just keep watching the videos of Great Millstone and the brothers that's teaching in the same doctrine. Why? Because the Lord ordained those, those um, how you call it, those servants to feed the lambs and bid them into the marriage. Okay? So let's get with the next scripture. This is Luke 14 chapter. All right? There's another commandment from the Lord for us to be out there. It's all about, well, we, look, the Lord gave us a token. Okay? He gave us a talent, all right? And we're supposed to go out there and use that talent and flip it to one or two or three or four or five. Putting in that work. Why? Because all that money is going towards the spiritual bank account, okay? Your works are recorded, all right? Your camera you have beside you while you're out there and you're out there doing the work or doing your lessons, that camera is your scribe, believe it or not. That's your scribe. All right, it's, it's being written, the angels right there taking notes. So guess what? We are commanded to go out there, man. Like it or not, there's no buts, there's no ifs, there's no gray areas. No excuses, man. Okay? All right, so um, this is Luke 14 chapter. Bear with me here. You know, there's a little outside noise, but it's okay. It doesn't distract me whatsoever. So this is Luke the 14th chapter, let's start at verse 21, okay? Proof right here that we need to feed the lambs, man. How you feed the lambs? By going out there and do the work, man, okay? All right, so Luke 14 and 21, and it reads, here we go, here we go. So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Who's the master of the house? That's Yahweh Shai. We only call Jesus Christ. All right? 
The master of the house being angry said to his servant, go out quickly into the streets and the lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded. You understand? We have to be out there, man, as commanded what the Lord told us, man. It's that simple. Do what you're supposed to do. Do as, as commanded. No gray areas, no excuses. All right? And the servant said, The Lord, it is done, and thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. Yes, there's still room. Okay? But we believe that the elect is sealed already. Okay? All we need is these properties to take place. But you see brothers all throughout the four corners of the earth teaching his word, man. You got new brothers popping up out of nowhere on these different nations, man, which was as prophesied. Okay? Which was prophesied according to the book of Matthew. You know, when this doctrine is all through the four corners of the earth, then I will then I will return. And guess what? Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, will return and destroy America. Destroy this beast system. Okay? And to for what? To have a new earth and a new heaven dwelleth in righteousness, man. That's what we want. Okay? So let's read. <laughs> Verse 23, and the Lord said unto the servant, go out on the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. So when you go to that word, compel means threaten. So you have to speak with authority. You have to really out there with confidence, man. Okay. And tell our people off, man. Yo, look, you going off. You keep going off. You're going to be destroyed here in America. Come back to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And for those that listen, they heard the voice of the Lord this because the scripture said oh, my sheep heareth my voice okay so if you heard the Lord's voice through these men that's teaching that's a great thing the Lord is dealing with you but if you can't hear it and you just get offended that means the Lord is not dealing with you man you know what I'm saying and you start to hate the prophets and you want to throw things at them make fun of them you want to scoff but anyway guess what the the, the um the servants of Yahweh Bashim Mashai did their job. Okay? So let's get with the next one. This is another commandment. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. Proves that you have to have a sign. Okay? Proof that you need to have a stick of the 12 tribes of Israel, knowing who they are, to for they can identify who they are as a people. You're supposed to have that. So the guys out there with no stick, you're you're full of shit, man. Straight up full of shit. Nothing but full of excuses and that's made to be destroyed. Period. You better repent, man. Okay? So this is Ezekiel, the 30, 37th chapter, verse 9. Let's go a little straight to it. Okay? You can read the whole chapter yourself, but I'm going to read to it right here. Ezekiel 37, verse 9. Then he said unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Now, remember what I read earlier in 2 Ezra, the 15th chapter. We're supposed to prophesy unto the nations, right? We're supposed to prophesy them. Prophesy, right? You know? Okay? Because it's, it's written in paper. So how we how we getting all these teachings? We're getting the breakdowns. Through the spirit of Yahweh the apostles broke down the breakdowns, man, of the prophecies. All right? Through the spirit of Yahweh Then we learn from it. And guess what? Other brothers learning from us. So the cycle never ends, man. Okay? So let's get to Ezekiel 37 verse 9. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus says the Lord, power, Yahweh, come from the four winds, O breathe, and breathe on the slain that they may live. So who's the slain? The slain is talking about Israelites, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans. You are dead on this world. Why? You're dead of what? You don't have the knowledge. You don't have the breath. The spirit of Yahweh Basham Shah, you don't have the knowledge. This is why y'all considered slain and dead. All right. Okay, so um, so I prophesied as he commanded me. That's the point. All right, verse 10. Ezekiel 37, verse 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and that the breath came unto them and they live. What's that breath? The knowledge of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, the knowledge of these prophecies, the knowledge of this history, 
the knowledge of our true culture, the knowledge of the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, which you only call God and Jesus Christ. The real name is Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's the true breath that came into us and we lived. All right? And stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army. Do you understand where you at right now? Do you understand who you are as a sermon to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai? You are part of his army, man. Believe it or not, man. You are part of his army, man. Plain and simple. All right? And if you don't like what you're doing and it's not and 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 you feel all disenchanted and everything, pray for forgiveness, man, and give you that and pray to the Lord to give you that drive again, that fire. And if you don't have that, then just go back to the world. We don't need you here, man. The Lord don't need any of us. All right? For the brothers who's trying Let's keep it going, man. Keep that fire going. All right? Because we're an exceeding great army, man. Plain and simple. And what does our army, what, what does our army consist of? Soldiers. Okay? Soldiers do as they commanded to. There's no questions, no buts, no ifs. You do as commanded. Okay? The ones who do the questions and the buts and the ifs, those are the disobedient soldiers. Who don't want to listen. Why? Because they into their feelings. Grow the fuck up, man. All right? Know where you at right now. Know who you are. All right? Repent, man. Because this, this, we're an exceeding great army. This is no joke. We at the end times right now. All right? The Lord's building his men up right now. Okay? So let's get the next scripture. This is Isaiah, the 58th chapter. Give you another command. All right. I'm getting tired of these excuses from these lames out here. Okay. Which I call the the um the lazy sack of potatoes, man. All right. That has too much estrogen in their bodies. All right. So is Isaiah 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. So what do you mean lift up thy voice like a trumpet? You gotta speak with authority, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta raise your voice up, man, for people can under, for people can see, and and you're gonna get noticed real quick, right? But you have to speak right things, not smooth things. Speak right things. We're not here to be smooth or anybody, okay? All right, we here to warn our people, man, as we are commanded in the streets. We supposed to be out there in the streets. Do your videos. There ain't no shortcuts to this, man. Okay. Isaiah 58 verse 1, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and shew my people their transgressions. So when you go to the word shew, you go to the go to word shew, it means attention, stand out, conspicuous, to inform, stand boldly. Okay? You have to, what did the scripture say? Um, the righteous stand bold as lions, right? So we're bold as lions out there teaching his word in the heat, in the cold, in the rain, in the snow. We're there, man, as we are commanded. OK. Um, let's get ready. Let's finish, let's finish this and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sin. So we will let our people know you're going off by celebrating these holidays, worshiping other gods, committing adultery. Being a bunch of thieves, murderers, drug users, drug peddlers, you go, witches, y'all gonna die here if you don't get your shit um, straightened up, man. Okay? Come back to Yahweh Bashmashah as we commanded to do so, to tell you, man. Okay? Acknowledge your sins, acknowledge your faults, and come back to the Father. All right? And if you don't, that's on you. We, we did our job. Okay? So let's get with the next scripture. I'm gonna I'm gonna end it with this one. Um, this is um, Jeremiah the seventh chapter, verse twenty five. This is another what we prophets usually do. Okay, so people make fun of us. Oh, you a prophet, man? Get the fuck out of here! See, people only look in a three D lens. We look in a four D lens. Okay, the people that's in a three D lens, they they in the flesh. They have no idea. They think a prophet is some. They watch too many movies, man, okay? They think this is Lord of the Rings, and no, it's not. A prophet is simply a servant that was chosen by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh to what? To prophesy unto the nation, to say things before it happens. 
to be that messenger. Okay? All right, so this is um, Jeremiah, the seventh chapter, verse 25, and it reads, um, I got it right here. I'm going to end it with the scripture. Jeremiah, the seventh chapter, verse 25, and it reads, Since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt, unto this day, unto this day, how um, Deontay Wilder said it, unto this day, I have even sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, daily, rising up early and sending them. The key word is daily. Why? Because they daily warning our people for what's to come. They daily breaking down these prophecies, the proper breakdowns and warning our people what's coming their way. So we doing the job as a prophet supposed to be doing to say things before it happens. So with that, you know, I hope your brothers and sisters were edified. Some of them sort of told me to do this. <laughs> it does, does. The idea popped in when, when I was at the gym, man. Okay? It just popped in my head. So that's a, that's a commandment from the Lord to put this lesson out. If you take it like that, that's what it is. All right? The spirit, man. That's how it moves. So I hope your brothers and sisters were edified to another video. Shalom.